As we say in Hamburg, moin moin. The Weimar Republic from 1919 to 1933 was one of the most creative periods in German history following the trauma caused by World War I and a brief revolutionary time. Many of the critical issues and challenges during these short 14 years are still relevant today. In this seminar, we'll explore some of the most popular German literature and films of this period, and you'll get a glimpse into the creative freedom of Weimar amidst its economic crises and the rise of National Socialism. The Weimar Republic was not only Germany's first democracy, but also a center of cultural experimentation and innovation, producing cutting-edge art. Germans were at the forefront of many new developments in film, visual arts, architecture, science, theater, and music. While many Germans applauded these new explosions, conservatives and radical right-wing critics deemed these works of art indecent and immoral. I invite you to actively participate in the seminar where I will give short lectures to situate the texts and the authors in the socio-historical context. <coughs> However, the main focus of the seminar is to read, reflect, and discuss the material in small and large groups. I will provide guiding questions and facilitate our discussions. I'm creating a reader which contains all the course materials. I recommend that you come prepared, having read the literature for each session. Some of the texts are about 100, a little bit more than 100 pages, but they are easy and really fun reads. We are going to start with Hermann Hesse's Indian poem Siddhartha, a spiritual counter-narrative to the atrocious battlefield tales of World War I. In the second session, we'll explore Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weill's Die Drei Groschen Oper, the Three Penny Opera, which became an instant hit in Berlin. Next, we'll watch Josef Sternberg's original Blue Angel, the, with the magnificent Marlene Dietrich starring as the cabaret artist Lola Lola. In the fourth week, we'll discuss Irmgard Coyne's best-selling novel, Das Kunst Seidene Mädchen, the artificial silk girl, telling the story of Doris, a young typist aspiring to become a star in Germany's golden age. Then you can enjoy Leontine Sagan's classic film, Girls in Uniform. This film and the Blue Angel deal with the clash of gender, social class, and education models. The old authoritarian model versus emancipatory models. In the penultimate session, we'll read Anna Sega's novella, The Revolt of the Fishermen of Santa Barbara. The fishermen are fighting against all odds, not only for livable working conditions, but also for humanity. Sega's unsentimental work was chosen out of 800 texts and awarded the prestigious Kleist Prize in 1928. Finally, I'll introduce the poetry of Masha Kaliko, Else Lasker Schüler, and Gertrud Kolmar, who lived in Berlin during the Weimar Republic and made a name for themselves. We will recite some of their immortal poetry in German and in English translation. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Vielen Dank. Thank 